everyone welcome to my channel my name is Julian if this is your first time watching thank you so much for clicking the button I hope you like what you see here today and I hope you subscribe and come back if this is not your first time watching thank you um, and I say thank you really hard because I've been slacking off I cannot lie um, for years I would just watch YouTube videos I mean obsessively and I don't know what I thought necessarily went into making one, but I can tell you, one, if you want to create your own YouTube channel, do it. However, you should be ready for some real work. This is, it is definitely some work just putting this all together. It's fulfilling and, but I'm not making an excuse. Well, I am making an excuse. And at this one, I'm rambling. So I'm just going to get to the purpose of this video because that's what you really came here for. Um, today's video is going to be about showcasing some of the black owned brands that i have come across in the last couple of months so this summer i um i made it a point to be extremely intentional about what i was spending my money on obviously with um the pandemic one there was nowhere to go so like you really had no reason to spend money or so they said <laughs> i always find a way um, but anyway, I w wanted to be more intentional about what I was spending my money on and supporting more businesses that look like me because I feel like this summer really highlighted how there's a lot of pandering. And if you're going to pander to me, I just don't need to give you my coins. I would rather give my money to someone who is actually authentic or at least authentic to what I interpret authentic to be. So I have, um, and then there was actually a really great article I came across in L. I believe it was called I am decolonizing my makeup brands or my makeup something along those lines I'll link the article below um and the reason I'm linking the article one you should read it um I believe it was written by a black woman but she tagged an exhaustive list of black owned skincare beauty I even believe like candle companies and it was awesome I can't tell you that I've tried all of them she hasn't tried all of them but like it was really great to have like a just like a bank of like these are all the companies that you could potentially look into um but today's video is going to be about the companies i've looked i've um supported um my thoughts in them i'm gonna go into um the item my thoughts on the item how quickly the item came to me and whether i believe the price for the item was worth what it was um pros and cons maybe i'm not sure I'm going to try and make this really quick because when I watch these videos, I want you to just speed on by, no extra fluff, says the person who's been providing all this extra fluff. But don't worry, guys. I'm going to also start with, um, maybe I'll start with, I'll go, because I have everything from skincare to jewelry to bags. And then I'm actually going to touch on something that I have on right now, um, which is from, I believe, a black owned business. And I will cut this part out if it is not because I don't want to go off base so the hair i have in is by maven which i do believe is a black owned business this is their kinky straight brazilian so this hair if you cannot see literally mimics african-american hair either blown out or relaxed i'm going to say okay so let me go into like the specs so this is 28 inches i believe as long as 20, 228 to 126 this is a sew-in with leave out on top my hair blends stupidly well with it um i will call myself out let me show you where my hair is so this is my hair here here so my hair is here and this is the hair you cannot tell um will say so this product what did i say so my thoughts on this product it's awesome like literally if you've always wanted to live your relaxed hair goals and just have it this is great i will say does this shed that often no um i just ran my hands through it and i just have a strand i don't know if you can see just one strand so it does not tangle and i I'm not expecting this to tangle because it's straight hair, but this hair is awesome. Probably had it in for maybe two going on three weeks. Um, it can definitely last way longer than that. Um, the price of this was in total 430 something dollars, which is not the most expensive hair you can ever buy, but it's certainly not cheap hair. And um, for me, I was really 
intentional about I wanted the kinky straight but if you try and find kinky straight hair I most times they have it in like it ends in like 22 or like 20 and that's cool and cute but I don't want the natural tees I want like the obnoxious like if I stand up and I will stand up you can see it hits me like literally past my waist this is everything I ever wanted um so the cons of this hair so pros it's lovely looking at it the cons I think is a little bit of the price but I will say I think the price is actually worth it because you're not I did not find a lot of straight I'm sorry I did not find a lot of long kinky hair um so I was willing to pay for it the cons are not for the hair but for me itself um sorry I am natural so my hair is curly I will probably try and insert a picture of my natural hair here so you can see like what my curl texture is so I don't use heat in my hair that often to be honest I barely use heat and in order for this to match the way you really need it to you have to use heat in your hair and then for my hair specifically which is very disrespectful and will revert on you if you sneeze wrong my hair reverts way too often for this hair so i decided after this week i'm going to just do like braid outs or like yeah i'm probably just going to do braid outs um to blend better and i think it'd be great but if you were trying to give and this is this hair is i, I ran up flat iron through it once so it can definitely get bigger than this but it can definitely get straighter than this um i hope i didn't ramble on too much so that was the first thing i want to talk about the hair um i definitely recommend this the shipping was fairly quick i'll be honest with you I think they shipped through USPS fairly quick. Second thing I wanted to talk about was this skincare set that I got from Asian Cosmetic, Ancient Cosmetics, um, which is a brand that I found on IG. Everybody and their moms uses them. Um, so it came with this box. I would show you the inside of this box, but I've literally used this box for other stuff so, and I've now destroyed it. But I will show you some of the items that came. It was a set of four. And I have three of the items in here. Um, the, so this is their... It's like their... This is their set for hyperpigmentation. It's a turmeric-based set. Um, turmeric being supposed to help fade discoloration and just like even out your, your, um, your skin tone. Um, it came with four things, but like I said, only three is here. Um, this is their... Um, even skin face wash this is a turmeric and frankincense face mask so this is like powder and you have to put this together i have not used this i have used this and this is their um even skin hyperpigmentation body butter and honestly i'm lying there's another product there is a smaller version of this like a shea butter based um a shea butter based um what's it called face cream and then the fifth item was a bar of soap okay i can go through all of them this i haven't used so there's nothing to talk about i haven't used it because it's a powder and like it's turmeric so i can just see this getting messy and i'm not about that life yet okay so this product will literally last me till 2022 i'm not gonna lie you can't tell because the bottle the bottle's kind of like yellow itself but this is so th it's not even thick it's so soapy i don't know um so if you look at it it has um castile soap it says organic castile soap like the first three ingredients is shea butter olive oil and the organic castile soap and i think that Castile soap. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Anyway, that soap itself is so soapy. Like, literally, you don't, you need less than a dime size of this to actually wash your face. <sighs> With that said, if you have, this was supposed, this was recommended if you have like oily skin. 
I thought I had oily skin, but maybe I have combination skin. I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe I have combination skin that's turned into dry skin because to me, this dries me out. I probably, and I don't anymore, I would use this maybe three times a week. Four, if you have really oily skin, this will dry you out. I'm not going front. Um, and I, I find that that holds the same for the bar of soap that I don't have here. The This one, which is the body butter, it's all that in a bag of chips. This is awesome awesome and i say this as someone who's had like shea butter come in from like legit shea butter from nigeria um from guinea um this is awesome shea butter the raw shea butter tends to make your skin feel like really greasy really oily i don't know whatever the combination of how they did their products this this is good like i would recommend it um i'm almost out I'm almost out you can see and I would buy this again so the face I have all this stuff in my head I'm gonna drop these the the other item that's not here that I should be honest I will not be bothered to go get it it is again this but the face butter yeah no mm -mm, won't recommend that for my skin when I tell you, at one point, I started to do a test to see if I was, if I was, if it was me, if I was going crazy, like, I would put it, I would like, the first four days of using it, my skin literally was like, yes, girl, you better give me glow, you gotta, you better give me supple, and then <laughs> the next four more days of using it, my face was like, yes, girl, you better give me blocked skin. You better give me pimples. You better give me blackheads. It was a no. Um, and then I was like, okay, okay, okay. Like, nah, like, this thing was so good to me. Like, we can't enter this phase in our relationship yet. And so I stopped using it. I, like, kind of cleared that out. Then I went back. And my face was like, mm-hmm, girl, let me, bring, let me bring back those pimples. How you like me now? So that's a no. I truly don't know where that item is because I was so like, oh, this is trying to set me up. I just never used it again. All in all, the set of five was $75. Came fairly quick. I would rebuy this. I don't have to rebuy the soap, which is on the floor now because I'm going to have it forever um the face wash that is and i'm not gonna rebuy the bar of soap because i think that dry, that dried me out too um and i would just use the face wash sparing so the next item is this purse handbag from this company i want my okay so i've always called this mart Egal, but i know for a fact that's not how it's pronounced this is from a um this is from a company that's based in Lagos, Nigeria, which I don't know if I've said, but I'm Nigerian. I was born in Lagos, Nigeria. So it feels really good to support someone from my hometown. And the girl's Igbo, which is a, one of the tribes, if I am correct, I believe she's Igbo. Um, so she, I found her this summer. <laughs> if you guys knew how much was, I stalked her. Because I think like this summer, you know, when everyone and their moms was like all of a sudden an ally and decided that Black Lives Mattered for like that month, like there was such a push to support Black businesses, um, which I mean, it's awesome, I'm down for it. Um, I just hope that that push continues post or continued post that month. But for me, who like is truly invested in that, what it meant like it was that everything that you wanted was literally backed up like everyone was buying everything so this was one of those um i think i i stocked her page for literally a month and a half um so and the reasons because so she only makes purses when she has the leathers available um so she uses um locally sourced leather and so she has she doesn't have leather there's no purses for you and then if she sells out there's no purses there's no purses for you um if i remember this was 150 dollars maybe more maybe 190 this is the mini if i remember or the toy wow i'm doing such a bad job whatever it is i'm gonna put here so you know exactly the specs of this and i'll link it below i believe this is the mini this is the mini because the mini is larger than the toy 
and this bag is awesome it fits everything it's so cute oh my god it goes in my oh it goes in what i have on nice i'm looking over there because there's a mirror right there um the pros of this is that it is from my hometown so i love it the cons of this is that this um this magnet that she has is very it works child um it comes with a strap which i will probably never use um but i like that it's there i'm gonna try i want to tell you i'll show you what's inside and maybe i'll do a close-up so as i'm talking you can see what's inside um all i have right now in it is a kleenex sweat wipe because you know you gotta be safe um it has a lot of room inside i don't know if you can see again i will try and do a close-up so for this item like i said i think it was 190 dollars this shipped in around three weeks after i placed my order and that's because um actually no it didn't wow so this shipped so you pre-ordered it and when it became ready i think it then became um then it then shipped three weeks after to be honest between like when i decided i wanted this bag and when i got it, it was probably two months but that's because literally the bag was not available um would i recommend it yes i would you can like it smells like real leather like this is certainly something you'll be able to pass on and it's a great neutral it's so cute it's big it's small enough that it's still a look but big enough that you can actually use it for something so another item that i wanted to showcase is this necklace it did not come in this packaging i don't know where the box that it came in went i just it was also really well packaged and i took a video of it can't find that anymore um i find it i'll put it here but i probably don't um i will do a close-up of this um so you can see what it looks like this is a nigerian um well I'll take that back this is from a company called omi woods which is a which is um a brand that i found on instagram it is a jewelry company they are nigerian based in canada i believe um this took a long time to get here not gonna play you um if i tell you it took more than a month i'm not joking um this is so i'm gonna do close-ups so this is like um the nigerian This is a Nigerian emblem. I believe this is what's on the flag, if I remember. And this is Kaba, which is 10 cents, which is a 10, like, which is um like our equivalent of coins, like Kaba, like it's Naira, which is the equivalent of dollars. And then coins are Kaba. I don't know how to explain that. Um, I would do close-ups. <sighs> anyway, so this is stainless steel if i believe which is in gold plated this was a hundred and something dollars i'm gonna put the price um here so okay pros about this nigerian designer love supporting so the cons about this um which is entirely my fault and specifically my bank account's fault is that it's this stainless steel and i think it's gold plated so if you ever met like an older nigerian woman like they don't wear fake jewelry at least my mom never wore fake jewelry growing up she was on some 14 karat gold and up um and so you know the way my bank account is set up um i'm not there but i try to be if i can and so for most of the jewelry that i end up having on and i keep my jewelry on on a day-to-day -day basis i don't take this stuff off because um with my nails if i take it off i can't put it back on so it stays on and so my jewelry so i i would prefer like at minimum 10 karat gold jewelry and they have that option but the price for 10 karat a 10 karat so like you can get this as opposed to being gold plated in solid gold 10 karat 14 karat i believe 18 karat and i even believe 22 karat and those prices in my opinion do not reflect what gold costs like i know this because i literally asked i like i looked it up um 
so i kind of feel like in that sense maybe it's because the coin in itself is so heavy maybe like the grams of the coin maybe but i think it's fairly expensive um this i bought this and i think this is 20 inches so it would stack perfectly well under this it would go like right here if i had this on um i would love to wear this every day but i don't want this to tarnish so i end up not but the in my dreams this would be like i wear all three and just like never take those off but i like if i wear it i will say when i did wear it i never took it off i wore it for like a week straight and nothing's happened to it but i just know i can't do that like in perpetuity so, so the I last three items i'm going to talk about are clothes um most of these brands if not all of these brands i found on ig um this first item i wore for my birthday recently <laughs> um it was a whole look this is from the brand d blue dazzled um specifically it is this crop sweatshirt that says birthday girl on it and this sweatpants that says birthday girl on it um i found this brand because of my love for shiny things i'm like and that bird the magpie that just collects and likes shiny things and that's me so anything that i have is probably gonna have some sort of like pizzazz to it um so i saw so i came across it but like never thought anything of it then this brand kind of like blew up on ig because on beyonce's black is king album she wore something of theirs i don't know what it was she ended up putting the brand on her site and then like literally everyone and their mama started tagging this brand and so i like went on their page um and they have like she has it set up to be like oh, this just different things like she has a whole social distancing um section where it's like different sweatshirts and different items that say like stay back six feet she has like a birthday one a bride one she has a bunch of other ones they're really cool um go take a look at it i will tag this specific item below um so essentially my birthday was october 2nd and you know did i need this no but i can say for the rest of my life i'm gonna have something that says birthday girl and i'm gonna wear it every october 2nd you know class per wear anyway so the sweatpants were on her page so like i think they're like 45 dollars but the sweatshirt she has up there it's just like a normal sweatshirt and i wanted a cropped one and so i reached out to her via email she responded back really quickly and i said can i get a cropped sweatshirt and she said yes so this one i don't want to call it a custom piece because i don't think it was really that custom but it's not on their it's not on her site you just have to pay for you just have to reach out and she will do it for you this one's i believe 45 dollars 49 dollars something along those lines um in regards to shipping she on her site i think she usually tells you to give her around four weeks because i almost feel like she might do these like when the orders come in um so for me because i want to be played i told her that my birthday was um september 29th just to make sure that if there was any issues with shipping i would have it in advance of my birthday and she had it in advance of that date so there was even a point where i was like yo this hasn't shipped but i think that she was having a problem with her like shipping notifications because when i reached out she was like oh it's already been shipped but i didn't get an email and then i reached out again to be like i haven't gotten it and my birthday is coming up you know my old birthday was coming up and she was like oh actually already been delivered but i wasn't getting any notifications that said this however a week later i then went on to get the notification saying the items have shipped and the item had been delivered but i already had it so would recommend um yeah i'm gonna get my cost for wear to be honest if i don't get my cost for wear i'm gonna give to someone else and they can wear it on their birthday i might start a whole this might be a whole um what is it called the traveling the traveling sisters of the traveling pants or something this is gonna be a sisters of the traveling sweat suit track suit sweat suit whatever this is the jogging suit y'all know what i'm talking about that i found from a brand on ig called the chemist who is a nigerian woman based in the uk 
This is her personal clothing brand. This is a yellow polka dotted swing dress. Um, this dress looks much better on. You cannot see how dope it is. It has a bow in the back. I will hopefully try this on. If not, I'm gonna put on some really janky photos of me when I wore it and y'all gonna have to make do with that. Sorry, this is, I'm tired. Um, but I'm gonna try and try it on. This dress is honestly stunning. So I wore it once to a um, brunch um, because you know what, man, when I get to go out somewhere now, I am doing the most and I probably will be doing that for quite some time until we're back to normal. Um, so this was, I feel like this was like a hundred plus, 115 hundred and something dollars no it was like honestly if i told you this was 150 i probably wouldn't be lying um it's on sale now i just looked at it a couple days ago so i will link it below this is awesome again it's not seasonally appropriate we're into fall it's gonna be like winter in like two seconds but whatever so but come spring summer again such a vibe Honestly, you cannot see how great it is. I'm not doing this any justice. So I will probably try this on. So the last item I want to discuss is actually what I have on. Um, I'm going to push my hair back because it is frizzy. Um, and so you can see this. This is from a brand called Kai Collective. Nigerian girl based in the UK as well. This dress has been everywhere um so again i've had this dress since probably august um because i saw it on i forget who i saw it on but i remember seeing it and i was like whoa like this is a vibe and it's crazy because i bought this before i truly understood that this whole like this isn't a chocolate brown but this whole like the brown zones were really big for um the fall 2020 it's like a really big trend like if you haven't gone anywhere then you haven't seen that literally they're selling you brown everything like brown everything and so um and leather is everywhere so this is like the perfect combination um this dress was don't know the price of it a hundred and something dollars i will link it below so you can see the price of it this came in legit baby four days like it was she was on it um this dress is in my opinion universally flattering um it can be as saucy as you want it to be like i could do a little bit more here or i could button it up a lot more um i think that you can dress this up and dress this down i wore this on the day of my birthday after i changed out of that other thing and i just wore this in the house and it was mad comfortable but if you wanted to like wear this out more like you know like go all out you could if you wanted to wear this with like a cute pair of sneakers i'm sure you could do it i'm sure you could do it i that's not my vibe so i can let me let me not talk about sneakers but you could do it like i can see this like being dressed down um with a cute pair of flats or something like that um sandals definitely um because while it is like leather faux leather it's still it's not so heavy that you can't wear this in like the spring and summer and that's basically it guys i hope this video isn't going to be too long and thank you all so much for watching again i'm going to link everything i talked about below just in case you want to take a look at it my apologies if anything is out of um stock or anything like that i'm going to do my best um but thank you again everyone have a good day thank you guys so much for watching um please do comment like and subscribe and i'll see you again Bye.